What's going on guys, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to T-SOP the original Xbox console. The first thing we're going to need is an original Xbox console. It has to be between a version 1.0 and 1.5. Versions 1.6a and 1.6b and any other revisions are unsupported by this mod. Your console also has to be soft modded before being able to use this mod. Next we're going to need a T10 and T20 screwdriver. Next up we're going to need a low wattage soldering iron, preferably one that you can control the temperature on. We're also going to need some solder. Also depending on which version Xbox you have, you may also need some wire. I'm using 30 gauge wrapping wire. We're also going to need a copy of the Hexen boot CD and BIOS checker. Alright, so the first thing we need to do here is flip the console over and unscrew the 6 T20 screws on the bottom of the console and put them in a safe place. Okay, so once we removed all the screws, flip the Xbox back over and remove the lid. We're going to be removing three T10 screws, one located underneath the IDE cable and two located next to the DVD drive. If you have a version 1 or 1.1 Xbox or a console fitted with a sharp T-SOP flash, remove the 11 T10 screws holding down the motherboard. Disconnect all the cables and remove the motherboard from the system. On versions 1 and 1.1, bridge the point R7D3 on the top of the motherboard. This is located off to the side of the LPC debug header. Now flip the motherboard over and locate R7, R4 and bridge the point. This is located adjacent to the screw hole in the motherboard above the LPC header. On versions 1.2 all the way through to 1.5, bridge points R7D1 and R7D10. These are both located near the LPC debug port. If your console is fitted with a sharp T-SOP flash, solder a wire from pin 6 on the LPC header to the pad closest to R7R1 on the underside of the motherboard. If you're doing this on a version 1 or 1.1 motherboard, you still need to solder R7R4 for the mod to work. It is also recommended to remove this wire once you finish flashing the console to avoid damaging it. Now boot the console up and insert the BIOS checker DVD. Once the software loads up, it'll tell you exactly which chip you have and whether or not the T-SOP points are soldered correctly. Now remove the disk and shut down the console. Now boot the console back up and insert the Hexen boot CD and wait for it to load up. Okay, now that the software's loaded up, scroll down to option 3 which is T-SOP tools. Now this next option is really easy. If your console is fitted with anything but a windbond flash, choose option 3.2. If it does have a windbond flash, choose option 3.3. Once the flashing utility is loaded up, just choose flash 256k BIOS for version 1.0 to 1.5. Now just choose the BIOS you want, it's recommended to go with EVO X. If you're wanting to use a larger hard disk, go F and G. If you just want to keep the original hard disk, just go F only. Now that's all left to do is just to press Y and the BIOS will start flashing. Once it's complete, the Xbox will shut down. Once the console shuts down, boot the console back up and you should be right to go. If you're using a windbond flash, load up the Hexen tools, go down to option 3 for T-SOP tools and then choose windbond flash 3.3. 
Then choose the BIOS you want. Again, it's recommended to use Evo X. If you're using a larger hard disk, choose FNG. If you're using the original hard disk, choose F only. Once the software loads up, press right on the D-pad and go across to Advanced. Then go Flash Menu, Hard Drive Flash. Then that's all that's left to do is to press A on BIOS bin. The software will go ahead and erase and reflash the BIOS on the console. It can take up to 5 minutes, so just be patient. Once the flashing is completed, the console should reboot. If it doesn't, wait until the LED on the front of the console starts flashing orange and then press the power button once. Alright, so now that we've finished T-stopping the console, we can now unlock the hard disk safely. So if you want to do that, go into the Hexen tools, load up T-stop tools and go down to disk lock and unlock. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do here is going to go down to backup EEPROM just to be safe. Press A on it and back it up. Once that's done, just go up to unlock disk and press A. Once it's all unlocked and everything and all good, just go back down and go return to main menu. Once Hexen Tools loads back up, just eject the disk and go down to option 10 and reboot the console. Alright, so that's the end of this tutorial. We've successfully T-stopped our Xbox console and unlocked the hard disk. If you liked the video, please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Hi guys, thanks for watching my video. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, it really helps me out. Also, you can find me on Twitter and on my website. I'll put the links in the description. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video.